Learn Africa Unveiled Equatorial Guinea is a unique country with a number of intriguing facts that set it apart from others. Here are five insane facts about Equatorial Guinea. Double Capital Cities Equatorial Guinea is the only country in Africa to have two capital cities. The capital is officially called Malabo and is located on the island of Bioko, while the administrative capital is called Oyala and is situated on the mainland. This unusual arrangement was established in an effort to distribute development more evenly across the country. Sudden Wealth Despite being a relatively small and lesser-known country, Equatorial Guinea experienced a rapid economic transformation due to its oil reserves. In a short span of time, it went from being one of the poorest nations to having one of the highest GDPs per capita in Africa. This drastic change is often referred to as the Equatorial Guinea Paradox. Official Language Variety Equatorial Guinea is the only African country where Spanish is an official language. This is a result of its colonial history as a Spanish colony. The country's multicultural heritage is reflected in its diverse linguistic landscape, with Fang, Bubi, and other languages being spoken alongside Spanish. Limited access to clean water. Despite its oil wealth, a significant portion of Equatorial Guinea's population lacks access to clean and safe drinking water. This is surprising given the country's economic status, but it highlights the challenges of translating resource wealth into equitable development. Lavish Presidential Complex The country's president, Teodoro Obiang Nguema Mabasogo, has often been criticized for his extravagant spending on personal luxuries. He built a sprawling presidential complex known as the Presidential Palace of Oyala, in his home region, complete with opulent architecture and facilities. This stands in stark contrast to the living conditions of many citizens. Equatorial Guinea's unique combination of characteristics makes it a fascinating case study in economic, political, and social dynamics within the African context.